my 15th birthday. The night I went in, I'll never forget it. It wasn't the, you know, the script searching and all the things that they have to do to check you in. It was the things that he said that I remember the most. You never forget those things, especially when you're a kid. I'd already been, at one point, to 12 schools in, in two years, so I moved around so much. Years later, I'd met this family. Just something told me, I said, go up and ask him if he has any work that you can do. And uh, I did. I ended up being their lawn boy for the remainder of the summer. They were in their mid-70s when they took me into their home. I was 16 at the time. And I stayed there for six long years. It turned my whole entire life around. I tell the story every time I play a show because this is really what changed me. When I was in the college, our instructor said, Monday morning we're going to go visit the detention center, and of course, I didn't need to go, I'd already been, and, uh, <laughs> I knew what it was like, but I went anyway, and I was standing in the back of the room, and, and uh, this instructor, or this staff member come out, and his introduction was just like this, he said, good morning, this is the Dallas Detention Center, it's Dallas, North Carolina, and in here we have all kinds of trash. Finally, I just raised my hand. I said, Sir, you, you may not remember me, but my door used to be the last one on the right. And then all the students turned around and looked at me. They couldn't believe it because here I was, this, this guy that they thought I was. Again, I didn't share my story with anyone because I thought that it, was, it would turn people away. I said, You know, these kids in here, some of them have been let down by their own family, been turned away. Some of us make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But one thing, one thing that these kids are not, they're not trash. It's not where you've been, it's where you're going. Think about those teens out there who are completely lost. They have no one. They need our help. If you have clothes that you want to offer, take them down there to the facilities. Research, find out where these facilities are. Help these kids. They need our help. Remember it way back when. a guy with ski goggles on and looks like ski poles, but they're not. They're called trekking poles. <laughs> That's me. We're going to end this show with this song. It's more of the whole story, the whole walk. The whole message is it's not where you've been, it's where you're going. Right. Yeah. We all have a story. Some's been lost, some hurt, some of us have been through hell. Well, the past is a ghost, a door that's been closed.